Are we going? Yes. Alrighty, here We're we go. Live. Here goes right the music. Here. Okay, see if you can guess where we are right now. Here we go. Ready? <clears throat> Love that guitar bit. <laughs> when I'm standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona, such a fine sight. But to we're see. not in Winslow. What do you mean? This is Phoenix. Yeah, but we need. Uh, Winslow's like just around the corner. How far around the corner? A long corner. That's all right. <laughs> That's okay. You know why? Because he couldn't find a song that yeah, was about like, smelling and I, other than smells like teen spirit smell, by yeah. Nava, And Nirvana. who wants to smell teen spirit? Seriously. <laughs> I've worked in a classroom, I know exactly what they smell like. Hey, um, everyone, welcome. It's Monday night again, and but this time we're coming to you live from Arizona. Let's just move that around we a bit. We wanted to show you the we cactuses. To, yeah. There's a heaps more up the hill. I don't know if you can see up the hill. We are in Arizona. We're in the desert in Arizona. Um, and, yeah, we're in Phoenix. Um, How hot is it? It's 105 degrees um, Fahrenheit, which is about over 40 degrees centi um, Celsius. So, yeah, we're sweating it out here. And um, anyway, welcome to Kim's top five for perfume. Why did we choose perfume? <laughs> <laughs> well, we kind of, um, it just came to me this afternoon and I thought, you know, we wanted to film this out in the desert and we wanted to talk about something that had some, you know, was vaguely to do with the desert. And I said to Jeremy, let's do things that helps you smell Please nice in the me desert. just for a moment. <laughs> Seriously. He's a bit whiffy. We're both a, a bit whiffy. We've been walking in... Um, in the desert. Um, You've got to love that stuff. We went to Sedona today. It was beautiful. Yeah, so it's awesome. Yep. Yeah. And I guess we didn't even tell them why we're in America. We're actually here to go to Young Living's Grand Convention. Sorry, it's a bit windy out here. Um, and so we thought that while we were here, we'd come and visit Jeremy's brother, Adrian, who and his family who live in uh, Phoenix. And, and yeah. a Adrian is being a human windbreak. Yes, he's here. helping well, us with the camera. <laughs> So we just hope that he doesn't break wind. Well, we want him to break wind for us. I'm good at breaking wind. Yes. Yep. No, let's not go there. All righty. So speaking of scents and perfumes. Yes. So these are just my top five. I mean, obviously there's heaps, heaps more. Yep. that, And, you know, if you've got a favorite perfume blend that you really like, um, feel free to post it in the comments. We'd love to know what you think. These are just my personal favorites. Um, and they're definitely ones that I carry around. Um, but, you know, I could list hundreds more. I mean, even every single oil in the feelings kit I'd probably put on this list. But I had to choose five. Yep. So Not cedarwood. No, not cedarwood. Not Valerian, not. Yep, yeah, there's a lot that there's I, a lot wouldn't, I wouldn't put yeah, on the list. Right. <laughs> so I guess um, the thing about perfume oils is, for me, um, you know, they've they've got to have a nice top note. Um, so with with making a good perfume oil, you want to have a nice blend of base notes, which are heavier notes. They're the ones you'll smell on your skin afterwards. So things like sandalwood, um, even you know. Um, well, cedarwood is actually a base note because it it's quite heavy, but yeah, none of these blends that I, the top yeah, of none of yeah. these blends I've chosen have got that in it. Some of them have got vetiver. Um, so you want to have a base note, middle note, and top note. The top note is the floral note, the note that sort of evaporates the fastest. Okay. That's like the. Ah! Yes. Yeah. So, okay. Good. All right. So the first blend I'm going to do is Lady Sclero. Um, I should actually pick up my notes because I'm going to tell you exactly what's Lady in it and I can't Sclerol. read them on the ground because it's no. a bit glary really here. Glary yeah. here. So Lady sclerol has got, it's a blend containing vetiver, so that's your base note, geranium, orange, clary sage, ylang ylang, sandalwood, sage, lavender. It's actually got sage lavender in it. Um, jasmine and Idaho tansy. So, and some cactus. Well, it doesn't really have cactus, but oh, okay. cactus is in the background. And is it just my imagination? Why is it called lady sclerol? Is there it's some kind of feminine thing going on? Yeah, there? It's, okay. a fem it's yes, it's definitely a female oil. So it's good for women because it's got clary sage and the sage okay. lavender, which yep. are definitely good for women. Yep. So that's number five. Okay, number four uh, is one of Jeremy's favourite perfume oils, and it's Joy. And do you know what it smells like? Joy. <laughs> It smells of happiness. It's so, I love this. So anyway. we love putting joy on our heart anyway. chakra to bring a little bit of joy to our life. It contains bergamot, ylang ylang, geranium, lemon, mandarin, jasmine, roman chamomile, palmarosa, and of course, 
rose. Rose. Yes. So yeah. if you want to raise your frequency, feel a lot better, um, add a bit of joy to your life because, you know, if you can't afford rose, then use a bit of joy. It really is joy in a bottle, that one. Yes. I love it. Okay. okay. That, so that was number four. Yeah. Number three. Let's go. Okay. So number three is actually a blend of other blends. Um, a blend of blends. I know. It's really cool. This... Now, hold on a sec. Don't you normally say that you shouldn't blend blends? I know, but as like as a general rule, I tell people if they're new to oils to just blend single oils rather than blends. Just yeah. because what happens is when you're blending blends, the blends have been made with a specific intention. So it might be to ground you or to calm you or, or, to, joy. or to give you joy. Yeah. And if you mix that blend with another blend, you may not... Um, get the same intention as what you meant. You may end up with something totally different. Um, so instead of grounding and calming, you might end up with a stimulant that wake, keeps you awake all night and you don't want that. So that's just why I say <laughs> Not that. Not for another night, no. But the... Um, Oh yeah, Jeremy hasn't slept since we've been here. <laughs> He's um, not adjusting to the time well at all. I have told him to put a bit of present time on, but I don't think we he, haven't, no. he hasn't done that. Don't I've do been that doing it on my wrists every day. Um, but Awaken. Awaken actually has present time in it. You should probably put a bit of this on. Yep. So this is number three. It's Awaken. It has joy. We talked about joy before. It has oh, present right. time, forgiveness, dream catcher, and harmony. Okay? So you'll have to look up all those yeah, oils, because yeah. even harmony, all of those blends have a lot of oils in them. But I love Awaken. Um, yeah, so again, it's a blend of joy, present time, forgiveness, dream catcher, and harmony. So it's, yeah, one of my favorites. That's awesome. All right, now number two and number one. Oh, you didn't bring your number one. What? Did you bring your number one? What? Okay, I don't know if you did or not, but anyway, I just would, I, a, would I ever leave home without? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I had a toss off, and it's kind of like I don't know which one should I do as number two and which That's, number one. There's going to be some post uh, uh, post editing right there. Okay, okay. I'm going to do number two as Valor. Okay, Valor is a blend. Absolutely love Valor. You can see by my bottle, it's very well loved. Um, this is an original, but the new uh, I've kept on. I've kept hold of some of the original Valors because I absolutely love them, but. I I love the new one just as much. It contains Northern Lights, Black Spruce, Camphor, Blue Tansy, Frankincense, and Geranium. So another amazing oil. I really had to toss up between this one and my number one as to which one I like the best. I put Valor behind my ears. I put it on my kids' feet, um, you know, doing a Valor balance, putting Valor on the bottom of their feet and holding onto it. Yeah. yeah. And guess, guess, which, oil, so, uh, guess grounding. which oil I wear every day when I have to teach at school. Yeah. Exactly. It's it, it actually, it's not a florally um, perfume oil like some of the others that I've chosen. Some of the others are really sweet because they've got the rose and the geranium. Not that. Smells very much like um, the spruce Teens trees. Tree? No. No. All right. No, it, it, it actually, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's guys uni, can wear it's it. A it's, unisex it's quite oil. a nice oil. Absolutely. Um, and my number one, which is very feminine and very florally and not for everybody because it's got jasmine in it. And if you don't like jasmine, you're not going to like this one. But it's sensation. Ylang Ylang, jasmine, coriander and bergamot. Um, I had a girl at the weekend and um, she didn't even want to try this oil because she said that the one time she tried it, um, she was very romantic with her husband. Oh. And so she said that she didn't want to... That was a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't want to try it in a workshop, put it that way. Oh, okay. So, okay. Yeah. Anyway, sensation, um, lovely, lovely romance blend for putting in the diffuser, wearing for a special night out, um, but it definitely has that very distinct yeah. jasmine smell. For a special so, night in. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that was my top five. So let's go the quick run through. Lady Scleral, number five. Number four was Joy. Joy. Number three was Awaken. Awaken. I also could have put Dreamcatcher or even White Angelica in there. Love those as well, uh, but I didn't. Number two is Valor and number one, Sensation. So if you're looking for awesome. a nice perfume to try and wear, particularly out here if you're in the stinky desert, um, I don't know if I've told you the story about Cleopatra, but do you know that, like, obviously Cleopatra was in the desert and she was in the, you know, walking around in the desert and she, they didn't have um, perfumes like we have perfumes. So she used to get some frankincense and she'd mix it in with hippopotamus fat. Like, they literally Fantastic. kill the hippopotamus, get the hippopotamus fat. And that's what her cone was on her head, was hippopotamus fat with frankincense. And so when she'd be walking through the desert throughout the day, the hippopotamus fat would melt and run down her skin and give her that lovely frankincense perfume. So, 
I didn't put frankincense in my top five or hippopotamus fat for that matter. There's nothing more attractive, I think, than a woman walking through the desert with hippopotamus fat just dripping down her face. I know. Like, it's pretty attractive. Hot. That's hot. <laughs> and speaking of hot, we are in the desert. I think it's still 105 degrees. So I'm going to keep this brief. My top one for um, perfume. Um, I almost, almost said Australian blue. Because I actually love Australian blue. Um, it's got a bunch of cool things in here. It actually has some blue tansy. That's what makes it blue. Uh, it's got blue some. Blue cypress. It's got some. Well, it's got some blue tansy as oh, well. Does it? Yeah, it does. Um, but it does have some blue cypress, and it's got ylang ylang in there. Um, so. I actually like that one, but I can only have one, so I'm not going to go for that. As always, man, if you're in the desert, if you're on a desert island, if you're anywhere where you deserted. where it's hot and you want to be, <laughs> yeah, it's deserted, and you want some company, Shutran, my friends, Shutran. <laughs> and it's, it's hot, so I'm just going to put a little bit on right now, see if we can heat things up just a little bit more. <laughs> All right, well, that was our Kim's top five for this week. Is that is that working for you? Yes, it's making me feel hotter. <laughs> Come here. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to sign off, and um, next week we're going to give you my top five new release products from convention. From convention. So stay tuned, and you'll see all of my, you know, well, I'm going to try and stick it to five, but, you know, yep. I'm sometimes hopeless at coming up with the top five. But that's what next um, week is, Kim's top five. 8.30 Sydney time next Monday night here in our Team Valor Facebook group. Yep. We'll be on a plane, so it'll be a recording like this one, but I'm sure yeah. you'll understand. <laughs> and as the American Marines say, stay frosty. Bye. <laughs>